YouTube, Big H Trucking, coming to you from a Flying J in Altoona, Iowa. All right, so today's event is going to be about your cabin filter change. And as I'm playing with my stand here, I'm trying to get the best angle possible. I bought two brand new part number upside down so let's go this way uh, it's gonna be upside down anyway two brand new cabin filters okay now I threw out the old ones but believe me when I tell you they were as ugly and brown as they needed to be changed as I was doing my PM this morning. So look how pretty she is. Now, I have three, but I'm only going to change two. I have one in the glove box. Let me... I Sorry about that, guys. So the airflow is coming this way. So we want to make sure your arrow, arrows are indicating the right way. So just simply stick it in there. Time out. All right. Got it in the slot. Couldn't do it with one hand. You just push down on it. Want to make sure she's all the way down. She's in there. That one's done. They recommend that you change it every 30,000 miles or so. And believe me, because I'm a smoker. It uh, gets disgusting real quick. So, now the second one is gonna be my engine compartment. So we're gonna do that one next. All right, you two. So the other one, as you can see, is right here. What do you do? This is on a Peterbilt 579. You slide the compartment door, open it up. Obviously, I've taken out the old one, but again, see the airflow? It's pointing up. The airflow pointing up. So all you do, there's a top shelf here. I don't know if you can see that. Top shelf. Make sure it fits it goes up there. This hose is in the way. All you do stick it in there we're good to go now if you want to get crazy with yourself you can put some incense in there sprinkle some incense because this air is coming into the cab and believe me let me tell you folks you need to change your you need to change your cabin filters. Two of these cost me fifty-seven dollars. So all you do is put the the cover back on and slide it to your left until you hear the click. You're in. And that's all there is. Now I've noticed it on my pre-trip. When I was doing my pre-trip this morning. I said, let me take a look at the filters because I haven't changed them. Now my air filter or my cleaner, my air filter for the engine, she's still good. Brand new 
This is a water separator. It's brand new. All my other filters, oil filters, oil separators, they're all good. So that's my air filter for the engine. She's still good. So we're not going to change that one just yet. And always make sure you have enough windshield wiper fluid. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm sitting here, a flying J. Let me go see if they've got it. And they do. So, being that I'm going to be here at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the afternoon, let me go spend some money. You need to spend money to make money, folks. $57 for two filters. Now, can you get them cheaper at Walmart? I mean, or on Amazon, probably. But I decided to get it here. So my new glad, uh, emergency glad hand, just in case. Some more glad, glad hand seals, just in case. Should change them. That's my third package. I got another package in the box. And that's my service glad hand. These were $10.99 at Love's. You never know when you might need it. So Lyle, I know you're getting, uh, believe it or not, I still need an anti-gel. Because I'm going to go up into New York and they were talking about blizzard conditions on Wednesday. So winter's not over for me yet anyway. So uh, Lyle, no hippie trucking and transportation since your truck is, uh, it's my cardboard. <laughs> since your truck's being serviced, have them do the... Uh, cabin filters. I can't get to the third one under the glove box. There's no way. But I never recirculate the air anyway. So um, I'm not going to worry about it now. I'll try to find a video on it. We go from there. Alright folks, thanks for stopping by Big H Trucking. Let's give you a little preview of how to change your cabin filters, both bunk filter and the cabin filter for your engine or for your, your driver's compartment just saw it being done 57,000 I guarantee you guys if you check it it's going to be as gross as mine was brown turning black get it done have a great day stay safe make great decisions